What do you think of Kyle Shanahan's comments saying that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be on the team next year? Yeah, I think it's a huge smokescreen. I believe that it's a ploy to kind of gain interest of the other 31 NFL teams who might be interested in Jimmy Garoppolo because mm -hmm. of the simple fact that they don't believe in him. And he has zero money uh, tied to him that's guaranteed. He has a $24.1 million cap hit for 2021 with zero dead money tied to it. So if they wanted to wipe their hands clean of Jimmy G and just move on, they could do that with no cap hit on their end whatsoever because there's zero dead money um, tied to him. However, he has value. And any coach in the NFL believes that they can coach up the deficiencies, which is why I bring up trade value for him. So how do you bring right. up trade value? Well, you hype up the guy that they have because in return, they can at least get, I don't know, maybe a third round pick. I know some people say first round pick. Some people say second round pick. But that's what the Patriots gave up for um, in return for Jimmy Garoppolo for shading him away. They got a second round pick in return. So I think the compensation is more of a second to a third round pick. We'll just have to see how that plays out. But in terms of what Kyle Shanahan said, that he expects Jimmy Garoppolo to be the starter, to be the starter let's face it. Let's be honest about it, Grant. Of course he expects him to be the starter because who else do they have in line behind him right now in the current roster? Nobody. No one. Things yeah. change in present day. I have expectations today, but the same expectations today are not the same expectations tomorrow. Right. And so what Kyle can say is like, yeah, we expected to have Jimmy Garoppolo. But at the same time, when you asked me that question – I didn't ha expect to have a chance to draft <laughs> Zach Wilson and he just fell into my lap or I didn't expect to have a chance to, dr to s trade for Matt Ryan. He just fell into my lap. Things change. Yeah. It really means very little right now that he's saying, uh, yeah, Jimmy's the guy for next year. Cause it depends on who's available when they draft. Yep. Yeah. Exactly but I, I want to come man. back to what you're saying real quick about value. Mm -hmm. If they get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, the idea isn't to cut him. I mean, before the season started, the he was probably worth a first-round pick before the season started. Oh, for sure. Okay, then he has a terrible week one, gets hurt week two, and now you're questioning what his value is because around the league, the perception is not only that he's injury-prone, but that Kyle doesn't like him. Yeah. So why would you offer a first-round pick if those two things are true? Kyle needs to at least change the second perception and say, yeah, I like him. I want him. And then teams will be like, all right, well, maybe they're not going to cut him. And when I think, when I say teams, I'm saying New England in particular. New England. Right. They have no quarterback. Cam Newton, I don't think, is the long term answer. Now, maybe they'll be in position to draft Zach Wilson themselves and they won't want Jimmy Garoppolo. But I think that's what they're saying. Like, look, if you want him, New England, you got to give us something because we still like him. Tech we still like him. Like him. Exa yeah. No, exa exactly. Exactly. And I broke it down um, in an earlier podcast that. I listed three AFC teams and Patriots were the front runner. Another team is the Denver Broncos. Cause if you remember the Denver Broncos head coach is Vic Vangio. And who did he have at quarterback all these years? It was Alex Smith. And what right. was he doing? He was a game manager, but they still won. So I think he can use that same philosophy in Denver and still win with a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, DJ G from Cali says draft a quarterback and keep Garoppolo. That's might be what they do. It just seems like an expensive option. I mean, First round quarterback still is going to run you about five, six million. And you have to re sign Fred Warner. I mean, where's this money going to come from? Money doesn't grow on trees. 24.1 yeah. million on the books, and then you bring in a first round quarterback on the books. And then people say they want Matt Ryan or Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford has a $33 million cap hit next year, and Matt Ryan has a 40 point something million cap hit. So you're doing yourself a disservice by making all these uh, assumptions when you really don't know. And when you work the numbers, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because yeah. where's the money going to come from? I agree. And I think what's going on is that Fred Warner is better than they expected. I'm muting you real quick because but when I'm done, I'll, I'll put you back on because there's, there's feedback. I think he's better than they expected. When they brought in Quan Alexander, they didn't think Fred Warner was going to be a superstar. Uh, when they started this season, they didn't think that Fred Warner would end up establishing himself as the best player on the team, the best middle linebacker in football, and someone who's worth $20 million a year because he is worth that. So where's that money going to come from, especially in this bizarre year where the salary cap goes down instead of going up 10%? So, I mean, if it doesn't come from Jimmy Garoppolo, where is it going to come from? Great points. Great points. And it goes to the free agents, right? They have 25 plus unrestricted free agents coming up. Where's the money going to come from? That's a great point, Grant. I break it down to the offensive line. I think you can wipe your hands clean of Lakin Tomlinson, wipe your hands clean of Weston Richburg. And then obviously the obvious choice, D Ford is on his way out. I don't see him coming back. So he's saving $6.4 million off the books there. 
there's a lot of moving parts. And then you have to resign Trent Williams, right? I think the left tackle Trent Williams, I think he was making 12.9 million this year. So if you take the players I just stated and releasing those players, well, are you going to resign Trent Williams with the money that you just saved? Or are you going to go in a different direction? This team is in cap hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Carlos Carrillo says, why would he, but do you think Jimmy Garoppolo restructures his contract? Yeah. Why would Jimmy Garoppolo agree to a pay cut on a team that isn't really committed to him anyway? Uh, no, no. Now, a guy like maybe Alex Smith in 2008 who had no leverage might agree to something like that. But Jimmy Garoppolo, the Patriots like him. He knows it. He's not – he doesn't feel at the mercy of the 49ers. If the Niners want to move on, I'm sure he'd be happy to go too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the reunion with him and Bill Belichick, not having Tom Brady there, will just supplant Bill Belichick as who's the better – of the two, you know, Tom Brady right. was Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick, right? Tom Brady, you know, you mm -hmm. watch all these NFL pundits and analysts say who is better. Well, obviously, when you have two together who are at the top yeah. of the games, it's going to elevate each other. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, look, Kyle, I mean, I don't fault him for what he said. When, when Eric Branch said, Kyle, directly, is Jimmy Garoppolo going to be your quarterback next year? What's he going to say? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. He's under contract for three more years. And they're trying to convince Jimmy Garoppolo to come back and play week 16 and 17. And they're trying to build up his trade value, which has taken a huge hit. How can they do any of those things if Kyle Shanahan comes out and is like, yeah, you know, I don't really know. Probably not. And he here's the thing that no one really talks about, Grant, is you got to look at from a NFL as a business, right? So his agent, you think he's going to be like, oh, yeah, let's restructure your deal because and take a hometown discount because we love the Niners. No, it's a business. That's taking money out yeah. of his pocket. Yeah. Yeah. What, what incentive does Jimmy Garoppolo have to do that? Because of how nicely the Niners have treated him? Because of how <laughs> they took his word for it when they said he was hurt? I'm telling you, that when that report came out that there was a difference of opinion on the severity of his ankle, that's I was like, it's over. It's over. That That is like uh, <laughs> when you know the divorce is coming. I, I don't know what the comparison would be between a man and a woman, but it's over. There's no coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that is a deal breaker. It's like basically cheating on your wife. Like it's, it's, there's nothing you can say. You got it's over. It's over. You could stay together, but it's like the least. You know, it's, it's a done. toxic relationship. It's got to be. It's over. <laughs>